Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Busy Moms Fitness, Nutrition, Mindset, and Accountability Community. I'm super excited, per usual, you guys hear me say that every single week, but this is one of the highlights of my week is to go live in this group and to have conversations with each and every one of you. So in this group, we talk about four main areas. We talk about fitness, which can look like cardio, strength training, flexibility, the conversation we're having today. It can look like nutrition, figuring out how to eat enough protein, what vegetables are going to fill you up, which ones you should avoid if you don't want to feel bloated. Um, it could be carbs. It could mean how to create a balanced meal. It could mean how to just balance your life nutritionally without having to give up your wine and your cheese or your beer and your pizza and allowing you to enjoy all the things life has to offer. We also talk about mindset in here. Last week, we did a training on promoting positivity that fell into our mindset category. It can be anything to help reframe our mindset. It can be organization. It can be um, really anything where we have a mindset barrier, integrity, our why, anything like that is going to fall under that mindset category. And then finally, we have accountability. And in there, that's where we talk about consistency. And that's kind of where I touch on more of that weight loss and weight maintenance um, topic. Because if we do our fitness, we do our nutrition, we do our mindset, very consistently, we then fall into that accountability category. And if we can show up every single day for our fitness, our nutrition, and our mindset, as well as sleep and stress and some other things, but those fall into those subcategories, then you are going to be able to maintain your weight or even lose weight that, you're been, that you've been hanging on to for a while. So welcome to the group. We have a lot of new people in this group within the last month. So welcome. If you are new and you are here watching live, or if you've been here for a while, you know the drill. If you are here watching on Facebook, drop hashtag live in the comments below. If you are watching either later today, a few weeks, a few months down the road, drop hashtag replay. Let us know that you're watching this video. Ask questions. Let us know who you are and where you're from and what actually had you tune into today's call. You do get the most out of these calls by clicking that little Zoom link above me um, and jumping right into the Zoom room. When you're in that Zoom room, we are here every single Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time. If there's a time when we cannot, when I cannot be here because I'm either traveling or we've got other commitments, what's going to happen is every single, the days that those are not there, words are really hard today. Um, you will see a live, um, or a replay of a live group fitness class that I host inside our community. So if you want to get access to those on the days that I don't go live physically, you will get a recording. And we've got Jean popping on and she's outside and I'm jealous. I was outside earlier. Well, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little crazy because, um, I may actually, on my way to help back with color guard, but Beth is on an appointment, a tele appointment. And so there's in the car doing her tele appointment. And I was like, oh, hey, I got time with you for a little bit. I might have to turn off my video once I get back in because I'm the driver in the whole situation. But yeah, so here I am. Well, awesome. Happy you were able to jump on. Let us know who you are, where you're from, and then what brought you on today's call? Is it just because it's on the calendar or was it the topic specifically? Um, I, my name is and I'm from Michigan. I'm a teacher, so I don't have to do as much towards me. I think um, what brought me on is I think the more contact, it's kind of weird when I say this, but the more contact I have with you and your ideas it keeps me going and um because like we had our call yesterday um but yeah i was like ah eh, 
I could skip and I'm like, well, maybe I can hook up and like it's, and it is timing too. Cause it just worked out this whole situation arose and I was like, okay, I can get on and, and talk. But, um, I think that's part of it. And then also just the topic, cause it's on positivity, which just is really the more you and, you know, just not getting upset about get upset about. Did I lose you? Maybe. Nope. I'm there. You're a little delayed. So I was waiting for your words to finish. finish. Gotcha. <laughs> awesome. Gotcha. I love it. And yeah, so just for context, Gina and I work together on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So her and I have lots of touch points and that's an option is if you want extra touch points, if you find these calls super beneficial and you want extra touch points together, just drop me in the comments and I'll reach out to you and I'll kind of give you some options. But we're gonna get into today's topic, which is actually workout secrets for busy moms to stay fit and strong from anywhere. And what I find is- so I, Sorry, I had the wrong topic. <laughs> <laughs> it is all good. Oh, wow. So in today's training, um, so for today's gonna be good. Positive. It will still be positive. Yes, it will be. <laughs> for today's training, training, we're talking about workout secrets that I have that I've come up with that I've learned from other trainers that I've learned from each and every one of you on how you are incorporating workouts, exercise, strength, flexibility, cardio into your everyday life. Because really, time is our en is our worst enemy at times. It's like, okay, I don't have 30 minutes. And then what happens is we just say, well, I'm just not going to do any of it. I'm just I don't have time for any of it. So we completely put our fitness and our strength and our well-being to the side when it comes to that. So today what I really want you to think about and get out of the get out of the mindset of all or nothing. And we may have a 30-minute workout planned every single day. But life happens and we can't do a 30-minute workout every single day. So we want to make sure we have things in our back pocket that we can go to. So I'm going to be giving an examples for like if you have if you're pushing a stroller, if you're at the park, if you're at the pool, if you're at home, what are some really small things you can do to help, help keep, yourself keep yourself strong, keep your body mobile and moving and not feeling like they, <laughs> you are missing out on your workout. So as we kind of go through today, I want you to think about is there an area or a spot where you travel where you end up not working out maybe it's camping maybe you're a camping family and you know when you camp you just can't work out because you just don't have the ideas of how to even make it work maybe it's when you go to the pool with the kids maybe it's you do your walks but you're missing out on the strength training so how do we combine the strength training another reason i'm doing this training is because someone inside this group lois um, made a conversation a little bit back and um she asked she's been watching her grandbaby um super adorable and cute and she's like i do a lot of stroller pushing but i know i'm missing out on some of my strength training so what are things that i can do while i'm pushing the stroller or while i'm at the park with the kids to still get some resistance training in there whether it's just body weight or we actually have bands or weights so some of the ideas that I'm going to give today are going to be based around Lois's questions. Um, so if there is a place that you have, drop it in the comments, let me know. And reminder, if you are live on Facebook, drop hashtag live. And if you are watching the replay, drop hashtag replay and ask your questions. Let us know who you are and where you're from. So first little thing that I'm going to share is I hit some of you know of mini circuits. And mini circuits are one of my favorite little things. And that's really what today is built around. Um, if you would like access to the mini circuit ebook I've created, drop mini in the comments below and I will shoot you a message with that. Um, Jean, I think you have probably have it like three times at this point. So if you want it again, I'll send it again. So it's at the top of your messages. Um, <laughs> But mini circuits are little workouts and little things that you can do for yourself that take five to 15 minutes. They're meant to be small chunks of time that you can incorporate. 
And maybe it's not even time-wise. Maybe it's two or three exercises that you repeat throughout the day. So I'm gonna give you a few examples at home. Um, I'm gonna start at home because I find that that's the easiest for me to wrap my head around is when you're in the kitchen, do some counter push-ups. So put your hands on the counter, let yourself lower and press yourself up. As you're waiting for that microwave, as you're waiting for something to boil and as we just stand there and kind of wait sometimes, do some air squats, do some counter push-ups. maybe sit there and do a plank on the counter. Use the environment around you. Right there, what you can do is take three exercises, pick 10 reps and repeat as many times as you can until that timer goes off, or you can just do three rounds of 10 itself. Jean, did you have a question? Okay. <laughs> oh, she got <laughs> Um, So thinking about at home, counter push-ups, sit to stands. One of the really cool things that you can do is if you have a little one, get yourself your kitchen chair, hold your little one nice and close. I'm gonna imagine that this kettlebell right here is a little child, give them a nice little hug. Sit on down, stand on up. Sit on down, stand on up. Little things like that where we're already sitting on the couch and standing up with them, do two or three extra sit to stands. That's a really nice way to get a few extra reps in there and feel like, oh, I am still building my strength. Um, overhead presses. Once again, this is a 25 pound kettlebell and a lot of children at some point become 25 pounds and they become heavy. So maybe you're holding them right here and then you're pressing them above your head. Something so simple as that can be done at home, at a park, at a pool. It also depends on the size of your child. If you have a child that's too heavy for that, then that won't work, but that's definitely an option. When you're at home, you can also use wine bottles to do bicep curls. If you're waiting, milk jugs, dishwasher soap, things like that, get creative. You don't have to sit down and have the structured time. Yes, it's really nice to have that structured time because it's your time, but it's not always feasible. So think of this at home counter push up, sit to stands, overhead presses, You've got a set of stairs, do the stairs a few times, even if it's just one extra time. Things like that will build on each other. So that's kind of some at home things that you can do. Um, and it's funny, when you do just a few of those with that kettlebell, you become a little out of breath, especially when you are talking and most likely you're gonna be talking to other people in the house. So it definitely gets that heart rate up. The next place that I'm gonna give an example for is pushing the stroller. So there are a lot of you in this group that have little babies. And if you don't have little kids, maybe you have horses, which I know Jean does, and you're just walking them and you're like, well, what can I do? What are some different options? So imagine, imagine I have a stroller in front of me. You can do high knees as you're walking. So if you're holding a horse, you can do high knees. You can do butt kicks. If you are standing at a stoplight or you're waiting, calf raises, so feet right underneath us, lift those toes. See how many we can do while we wait for that light to turn green for you to cross. Another one you can do is walking lunges. I'm not sure I suggest this with a horse jean, but with a stroller, it's a little bit easier, is you have it, just do a little walking lunge here. Ways to incorporate that strength training that's not going to tire you out necessarily, but allow you to incorporate it rather than feeling, well, all I do is cardio all the time. I don't get in my strength training in. Incorporate some lunges, incorporate those butt kicks, those high knees, those calf raises. Very little things that you can add, but they do build up in the long run. The next one we're gonna talk about is the park. So if you go to a park and you could go to the simplest park in the world where it's just greenery. And greenery, normally what's gonna happen is there's gonna be at least a bench. There's gonna be either a picnic bench or there's gonna be that seated bench that's usually metal of some sort. Hi, Cherry, I see you on Facebook tuning in. Happy to have you here. Um, so when you are at the park and you, let's say all you have is that little bench, you can do exactly what I showed you before. Do some sit to stand, sit that, sit on that bench, stand on up. Maybe you're going to put your hands on that bench and you're going to hold a plank. Maybe you're going to do some mountain climbers. Depending on your activity level, maybe you're going to do a step up onto that bench and come down. 
Maybe you'll do a push-up on that high portion of that bench. Maybe it's not where you put your butt, but it's where you put your back. Use the equipment around you. And like I said, I have an e-circuit mini book. The one I currently have is specifically for more at-home stuff, but I'm in the process of creating one for stroller, parks, pool, things like that. So if you want access to either of those, drop mini in the comments below and I will get that to you. So when you are at the park, think about how can you use a piece of equipment or a piece of furniture to get a workout in. Another really good one is um, if you've never done the monkey bars or if you haven't done the monkey bars since you were a kid, often when you go to the monkey bars these days, a lot of us are tall enough where I can just stand and walk. Well, if I pick even just one leg up and I try to move my hand from side to side, it's challenging. We as adults, we weigh more than we did as a kid. I remember going through those so quick as a kid. That's not the case anymore. It's challenging. It's hard on my grip strength. So maybe you just grab on and you pick your feet up just a little bit and see how long you can hang. There are benefits to working on that grip strength and being able to just dead hang like that. So think about what can you use at the park to help incorporate a workout that doesn't really feel like a workout because it may be you're stopping there for a few minutes so the kids can run around okay you've got 10 minutes i'm going to do 10 sit to stands and i'm going to do three 30 second planks okay great you guys are ready let's go and you can continue on mini circuits are meant to be 15 minutes or less super small not make you feel like you've done this whole hour workout, but also remind you that you can get your strength training in and you can get your heart rate up in a really short amount of time. That third and final spot that I'm gonna be talking about, or technically the fourth and final spot I'm gonna be talking about, is at the pool. Summertime, pool, lake, you are by the water. Think about anything you can do on the pool deck. You're watching the kids, do some air squats. Do some range of motion. I's, Y's, and T's. Yes, it looks funny. It does. And you may be that person who stands out. But if you really want to stay fit and strong and do it from anywhere, you have to be willing to get outside your comfort zone a little, which I know each and every one of you are, are able to do. It's uncomfortable, but I know if you do it, you will see results and you will feel better. So another one you could do if you're just standing by the pool is I's to W's. So hands go up. Elbows drive down, nice and close to the body. We're working our lats right there where that bra or that sports bra hangs out. And we're like, oh, that's really tight. That's the spot. The other thing you can do, very simple, palms up to palms down. Don't need any weights for these. And you can do these all while watching your kids from the pool. Because often when we're at the pool, I don't know where you go or if you're at the lake, you have to do some supervision. So you have to be able to multitask and make sure the exercises you are doing are very low key that don't take any, almost no brain power. Some other things is when you're in the water with them, just walk the water. If it's shallow, just walk back and forth. The, the way the resistance is in the water, it's not gonna feel like I'm trying to, if you've never walked in water, I highly suggest it. It's fantastic for your joints and your ligaments. It's a great way to have a really low impact workout. But if you just walk from side to side, put your hands under so you get as much resistance as possible. Over time, after a few times there and back, you'll start to feel that heart rate get up. You can also do your high knees in the water. You could do your butt kicks in the water. You can do a little squat in the water. You can do one of my favorites. I have taught water aerobics and it's, I am not the swimming person. I am the float in the water, enjoy it type of person. So when I've been asked to sub water aerobics, it's always kind of funny to me, but I understand how great of a workout is. Hands go in. So water is usually like up to here. Hands go in and you just kind of push back, pull forward, push back, pull forward. Do that for just 30 seconds in the water. And you will feel your those shoulders, those biceps, that back, that chest. So there are ways to be active in the water without having to feel like, oh, all I have to do is just sit here and watch. Like, no, as I nanny and I'll watch the kids, I'll just do this. That's all I gotta do. I don't have to do anything else. And I feel like I'm getting a good workout in, partly because I'm moving muscles that I don't normally move. And it's a way to build strength from anywhere and continue to feel strong. So 
Like I mentioned, those are really simple things that you can incorporate into when you're pushing a stroller, when you're at the park, when you're at the pool, when you're at home. Biggest thing to think about is it's not an all or nothing approach. Five minutes, three rounds of 10, start there. That may take you two and a half minutes, do it. If you can do more, go again. If you can go again, go again. If you're like, nope, that's, I hit seven minutes today, that's plenty. Great, push yourself in that time that you've given yourself. And that's one of the things that we really work on together inside our inner circle is getting you out of the mindset of it's all or nothing, of you can go and you can do seven minutes of a directed mini circuit workout, get a good workout in, walk away and feel like none of your time was taken up. Because I can guarantee each and every one of you have at least five minutes, five to seven minutes in your day whether it's in the morning, right when you wake up and we're scrolling our phone, at night when we're scrolling our phone, or when we're doing some sort of wind down or we're waiting for dinner to cook. We've got these blocks of times throughout our day. Maybe it's a minute here, a minute here, a minute here. Take advantage of those minutes that are just really, it's, we're wasting on our screens as we're often it happens and we all do it. And even if you don't think you do, let that just kind of start to acknowledge that and notice that. And when you're out and about with the kids, if they're out doing something or camping or whatever, and they're, they are very occupied on their own, but you still have to supervise them. How can you do something as you supervise? Cause it's going to help you stay fit and strong from anywhere on your own terms. So like I mentioned earlier, if you want access to my current mini circuit ebook or the mini circuit ebook that I'm in the process of creating, it should be done within the next week, week and a half of the stroller, the park, the pool, and the at home type of circuits. Just drop mini in the comments below and I will get those to you as soon as possible. So next week, we are going to be having an awesome training on energizing your summer. And it's gonna be all around nutrition. Every single week, we kind of alternate between fitness, nutrition, mindset, accountability trainings, so that you really get a whole balance of what we need in life to be able to have a sustainable and maintainable health journey. That is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's something we have to show up and do every single day. And once you hit that goal, you have to continue to do it. And we do it in ways that are super small, that doesn't make you even feel like you're like you're doing anything, but when we look back, you've made leaps and strides. And that is the best thing about what we do is we make it seem like you're not giving up anything. You're not having to deprive yourself. You're able to do everything you want to do, enjoy everything you want, and you're still making progress. So if you want access to that mini circuit book, drop mini in the comments below. And I will see you all next Thursday, same time, same place. And we'll be talking about nutrition, simple and quick things that we can do for our nutrition for yourself and your kids this summer as everyone is running around in the sun. So I'll see you all next time. Have a great rest of your day.